the first Sunday in July, three congregations came together for their first service as Emmanuel Anglican Church. It was full of excitement. This is now a church that is just buzzing with a sense of new life. Well, it's very welcoming. I think the first thing you'd notice is right in the announcements, they, they welcome everyone back and they welcome all the newcomers. And they don't just say it, I think they really mean it. I know lots of people that do come, they stay here for quite a while and, and they become part of the family here. Even if they're from a different background or if they haven't before, um, I know that a lot of people are in the same boat. It's kind of just the place where everyone gets along and we all just uh, help each other out. Being around people that usually you don't get to be around, sort of just coming together as one, I guess. We can be together and that you can spend time with your family. My name is Heather Blakely and I'm the music director here at the church and I am also the program director over at the Refinery Arts and Spirits Cultural Centre which is connected with the church. And I think that's been a really wonderful uh, way to expand our horizons and to put our gaze outwards. Music I think for most people just really enhances their inward thinking and the way they feel about their faith. One of my goals has been to expand the music program to include all kinds of ages and abilities. Variety is a very good thing and it keeps people interested and it keeps them on their toes and, and it keeps them learning as well. My name is Mary Ann Asaley and I'm involved in outreach. We help refugees, we reach out, we feed the hungry, we look at all these issues and it is an integral part of who we are what the church needs to do. It needs to be relevant to life now, and it needs to allow people to ask the questions that they need to ask in order to understand what they really are about and what they think the church should be about. I'm Diane Mish, and I'm the incumbent at Emmanuel Anglican Church, and I am so, so pleased to be part of this new venture with these wonderful people.